my assistant is my soulmate. She's always there for me, comforting the baby. I can't do it without her. In this Huang Huang Friday shoot, I did my photo near the front door because it's the only floor to ceiling window they have and the room is very bright. I don't bring any beans when I travel or nappies, anything that can stuff under into the basket. My workflow starts from a half wrap then slowly transit into a full wrap but with the toys peeking out. Nice. Smash this cake. Okay, me, use your hand. Use your hand. Yeah, use your hand. Look there. Look. Look here. Yeah, yeah. Hit the cake. Look, look. Chuck it, Didi. Yeah, do it again. Look there. Look here. Take the cake. Hold the cake. Flex yours. Flex yours here. Recently, I flew to Japan to teach newborn photography. The subway network was so overwhelming at first, although this is my second trip to Tokyo. On the day, it took me about an hour to reach Yokohama from where I stayed. Glad I made it. I wouldn't tell you, I lost myself for a moment. But anyways, the students are here. We have a nice setup. Putting something together from someone else's studio is a real challenge. Did I manage well? Hmm. Watch till the end. Here comes my host, the best in Tokyo. Such an amazing hospitality and she helped me translate my entire class. We managed to teach a variety of naked poses with her 
Studio Flash, but the result wasn't what I liked, although we had a profile. Yes, that's top of the line, mind you. Then I thought, how can I change it? Then I used the natural light, which is already there and free. You know, it's a good way to showcase my students. Gear doesn't matter so much. What makes a difference is the head behind the camera, which is what we usually say. Investing into that head is what you need to step up your game. By the way, those Japanese models are so cute. Okay, here's all the pictures I took on the day. Do you want to learn how? I'm coming to your city soon. don't have a matching oh, no. bowl in my workshop. Yeah, boy.